Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. There's nothing funnier than a practical joke. You want me to <laughs> and when there's a celebrity on the receiving end... Oh, my God. I didn't have a clue. It's even more hilarious. <laughs> it's terrifying. What an idea. Tonight, we've got the most hysterical. Oh, my... I could not believe it. Class. <laughs> most outrageous. Oh, my God! Oh, Jaw-dropping <laughs> wind-ups ever! We're going to leave you with a little wedding singer that we organised. It's Ed Sheeran. Featuring all your favourite celebrities. Perfect telly. He's like, yes, I love it! Coming up, two footballing legends yeah, score a beauty against a rookie journalist. I can't believe you've just done that. You've just got me. A wind-up on the Arsenal squad kicks up a stink. It smells really, really bad. We should have a little dance. Right. Are you going to dance? And Emma Bunton really, really, really enjoys pranking some airline passengers. How are you not clocking this? I'm Joe Pasquale, and these are the greatest celebrity wind-ups ever. Oh, my God, it's brilliant. For a young YouTube star, the bigger and the better the prank, the more the hits. Josh Peters is a wind-up merchant with a bright future. He has nearly a million subscribers to his YouTube channel. Along with his mates, vlogger Casper Lee and singer Connor Maynard, Josh had plans for a huge celebrity wind-up. And as luck would have it, Casper and Connor just happened to know Spider-Man actor Tom Holland. I'm doing what he thinks is a regular interview for the new movie The Avengers. What he doesn't know is I'm going to have an earpiece on. I happen to be friends with Connor Maynard and Casper Lee, who knew Tom. And basically, I had to ask questions that they were giving to me through an earpiece. You guys can come up with some sort of cover story for me to say. No, 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 no. I'm really good at cover <laughs> stories. So, uh, I think what you need to do is wear this. I then had to wear a sort of bandana over my head. So I felt like the biggest. Are we allowed to swear? Hello, mate. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Jack. Thank you. Oh, very good to see you. Nice to see you too. Ask him if that's definitely what he's wearing for the whole interview. Is that the outfit that you'll be wearing throughout the interview? It is actually, yeah. Do you not like it? The thing about junkets is that they can get quite monotonous and they can get quite boring. So I think Josh went in thinking, I'm going to mix this up. You first got to keep a straight face and then deliver that line as if it's a completely normal thing for you to say. Ask him why he's pretending to be British for the interview. <laughs> Why are you pretending to be British for the interview? You could see him thinking, what? You are one of the dumbest people who've ever interviewed me. Josh was so deadpan and so committed. Because obviously I, I watched the preview of the movie and um, you were American. Right. And then... No, but I am... I, I am British. <laughs> this is what it's like for actors now. You not only have you got acting in the film, then you've got to go around and talk to these sort of idiots. I, I just do I do an American accent when I play Spider-Man. How is that possible? <laughs> well, I just did it. I just did it right now. It's an accent. He just didn't seem to get the concept that you could change your accent for a movie, which is genius. Is Spider-Man British? No, Spider-Man lives in Queens in America. And I am Tom Holland, who live in London, but I'm an actor. Okay. And when I play Spider-Man, I put on an American accent. It's so awkward. You can literally lick the awkwardness. Every, like, moment that seems to take maybe a few seconds on screen in real life feels like an hour. I couldn't wait for it to actually be over. It was that uncomfortable. It looks like he obviously had to work out a lot for the role of Spider-Man. So it's obvious that you, uh, you do quite a lot of physical workout for the movie of Spider-Man. Uh, you're in really good shape. Thank you. Ask if you can feel his biceps. Could I have a feel of your bicep? Um... <laughs> Sorry turn just then. I'm going to have a sip of water and calm down yeah. a little bit. The point you know the celebrity is upset about something that's been said is they take a sip of water. I'm going to have a sip of water and calm down yeah. a little bit. Collect myself. This is killing me. I've been working out quite a bit lately. Good for you. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Show him your abs. Your abs are coming along quite nicely. Nice. <laughs>
<laughs> and then he sort of cranks up the weird. Could I lick your shoes? They look awfully clean. <laughs> My, you can, what, sorry? He must have just been so confused as to what was going on. It's so cringe. It's awful. I want to get up on that <laughs> shoe. You want to get up on my on my shoes? Um, well, embarrassingly, these actually aren't my shoes. I have to give these back at the end of the day. You can see in his face, he is thinking, this is the biggest idiot I've ever come across. If Joey Essex was an entertainment reporter... Awkwardness can't last forever. It's time for the ledge to come clean. Getting too much. <laughs> We're coming in. I've actually got something to, to tell you. Oh, you... <laughs> I knew something. Come on, man. I can You can see Tom feeling like an idiot for falling for it. You handled it really well. It's the most horrible thing I think I've ever had to. I'm so sorry. I knew you something must... was up with you, man. I was like, what is going on? I really apologise for that. Every nasty comment that Josh gave him, Tom just hit it right back with a smile. Kudos to Tom Holland. That was an odd experience, but fun. <laughs> that was fun. I enjoyed myself. Thanks for livening up my afternoons. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to just take yourself somewhere else, clench your stomach, and just know that it's going to be worth it once the video's done. In 2018, football fever struck the globe with the start of the World Cup. Thanks to bookmakers, Betfair celebrated with the perfect wind-up, giving a local five-a-side footy team a game they'd never forget, with the help of a few footballing legends. They fly around an area, basically say, look, we're a five-a-side team. Come and take us on if you think you're good enough. These group of lads rock up and they think they're the bee's knees, especially when they see who they're playing against. The team that's flyered are just dads playing football. A team of middle-aged, overweight men who look like they've never played a game of football in their life. It doesn't look good. They're being hammered. I think we're going to need some subs. Oh, my God. Look and look and look. <gasps> Rio Ferdinand. Oh, my God. Is that... Michael Ballack. Oh, my gosh. Now I've got to play against Michael Ballack. No way. Mikel Salgado. Professional footballers. Look up. There's Rio Ferdinand, Mikel Salgado, Ballack. Every amateur sportsman's... Dream and nightmare. Oh my god. You can just see the fear. Smashing it. We need a sub. Come on, man, get you ready or what? Good lord. <laughs> Isn't that Ravaldo? What? Ravioli, whatever his name is, I don't know. He walks on. Incredible. They make them look so bad. They don't even have to try. They literally, with their eyes closed, kick a ball and it goes straight into the net. <laughs> yeah. They have no chance whatsoever. They get thrashed. Who ended up winning? What did you do on Saturday? Yeah, I just played a game against Rio Ferdinand. He kicked my butt, but I still got to play football with him. Amazing. What day? That is going to be forefront of their brain forever. Now, we all love a wind-up where a celebrity goes undercover, but what happens when the celebrity is one of the most recognisable women in the world? Baby Spice herself, Emma Bunton. You know, she's iconic. Emma's brilliant. She's done so many different things in her career. The biggest girl brand we've ever known. In 2017, Emma teamed up with British Airways to pull a prank for comic relief. Hi, I'm Emma Bunton. Today I'm Ems. And I am going to be a British Airways check-in agent. For Red Nose Day, Comic Relief decided to turn Emma Bunton, probably one of the most famous faces in pop, into Ems. She'd need hours of prosthetics. Gonna go and meet some customers and spice up their lives. Or oh, lip gloss and glasses. She looked exactly like Emma Bunton, but she sort of did look exactly like someone from BA at the check-in desk. She scumps up all right <laughs> for the real working world. But surely she would be mobbed by wannabes and have to stop right now. Hello, Hi. sir. How are you? I'm okay, thank Where you. Where are you off to today? I'm going to Sydney. If you look into this camera a little bit closer, please. Which sorry, since it's just yeah. a little bit closer. Bit more? 
Yep, a little bit closer, baby. Come on, get it on, get it on. Her task was to try and incorporate Spice Girls' lyrics into the check-in process. Come a little bit closer, baby. Yep, get it on, get it on. Bit closer, baby. You'd think this isn't going to go too well because at the end of the day, she's got to do quite a bit. That everyone's going to know who she is. How's this even going to play out? But it was brilliant. Nobody seems to recognise who on earth she is. If you could just stand again in front of the camera and shake it to the left. To the left. To the left and then shake it to the right. Perfect. I was just desperate for her to, like, slip in a zigga zigar. I can't even say the lyric without singing it. Hello there. I'm going to apologise. I'm in a bit of a bad mood today. I'm also... Just had a bit of a row with my friend. Oh, no. Yeah, I said, if you want my future, you have to forget my past. And uh, if you want to get with me, then you have to make it last. But uh, they weren't very <laughs> happy about that. This guy's just thinking, I couldn't care less about the chat you've just had with your mate on the phone, love. Will you just let me through? Is that cologne your way? Mm. Oh, good. No smiling. I was actually amazed that more people didn't just immediately go, oh, hi, Emma Bunton. Where are you off to? Uh, skiing. Skiing? Maybe I could come along. You two become one. Yeah. yeah. Emma played it perfectly. I think that some of the guys that she is pranking here genuinely think that they've polled. The lines that she's using on them are working. There's a sort of look of panic in their eyes, like, I've never got to this point with a woman before. I've, what, what do I do now? It's a long, long journey, and you've got to just slow it down, baby. So I find that if you want the blood to get to your legs, it's good to do a little shake of the legs. Act like I'm dancing. <laughs> Act like you're dancing. Well, you won't get deep vein thrombosis if you do a little dance. We should have a little dance. Right. Are you good at dancing? We could do a little... Okay, yes. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Absolutely. Why wouldn't I dance with the check-in assistants? This is just something that I do every time I travel. But maybe not give up the day job. Um... How dare you tell me that I can't dance? Have you got any Spice Girl CDs? Any what? Spice, Spice Girl CDs? CDs? No. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you have a favourite Spice Girl, maybe? This party one. The sporty one. OK, really? You're sure about that? It's sporty. Oh, that's OK, fair enough. Sporty. Oh. How are you not clocking this? OK, who's your second favourite? Next favourite Spice Girl. I don't think she's going to come all the way through until she gets to her. Um, the blonde one. Oh, the blonde one. Yes, okay. I don't remember the Baby. Name, no. Baby, she was my favourite. The, the blonde one. Yes, but this one. Be for real, don't be a stranger. Goodbye, my friend. She really didn't mind. She was really going for it. And to be fair to her, I mean, she actually did quite a decent job. She wasn't offended in any way. It was just brilliant. She was perfect for this. If the Spice Girls tour thing doesn't work out, she's good. She's set. Footballers, by all accounts, are a right bunch of wind-up merchants, and they're always playing changing room pranks on each other. Hello. Finn? Good to meet you. So when the opportunity to get one over on a journalist called Finn came up, as part of a Sun newspaper football competition, Two legends of the game jumped at the chance. Alan Shearer, Ian Wright, possibly the best footballers England has ever produced. They're about to be interviewed by a journalist. Finn Lowe. Finn, good Finn's to meet you. Good, yeah. good to meet you. Finn, Finn how, how are you? How are you? you well? You're right, I'm pretty good. good. This is his big moment. He doesn't want to mess this up. Got the champers ready. Champers ready. It's only, it's only, it's only right. You want to write his. Give me, give me. Phone off. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I just let me do two minutes now. Oh, well. We ain't going to start yet anyway, <laughs> then, yeah. It's gone for me and to Alan. We should really... We should get a... But I was going to say while he's We gone. should open his champagne, <laughs> shall we? Shall we? Last one. Alan Shearer acting like a naughty little schoolboy straight away the minute Ian Wright goes to the toilet. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Wright. I know he wants a bottle as well, though, doesn't he? <laughs> One way to know, yeah. <laughs> Serves him right for leaving. Nah, that's all right. It's only one of his mal of the ones. He only got one or two, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Alan goes for it. I can't believe Alan Shearer. He knocks that champagne back. I'm just going to pull off and have it. I'm soaking, man. Hang on. The cheek! I'm going to get in trouble now, right? He's going to come back. It's going to look like I've done it. Where's Shearer gone? He's gone to mop your champagne off his face. He's what? He's opened your bottle. Who opened that? Alan. He's sprayed it all over us and it's You've... gone now. I know. I don't mean to... Who opened that? Did Al open that? Who opened that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who opened that, Al? What? Ian Wright's furious. Did Al open that? Who opened that? Yeah. Who's opened my champagne? Who opened that, Al? He could be quite an imposing figure back in his playing days. He was notorious for getting a yellow card. Finn is there squirming his little bum off. Do, who, who opened it? Wait, do, I need to speak to you. 
What's it called? I need to know. I need to speak to What's it? Um, who opened that? Who opened the champagne? Oh, wow. This is not a good situation. Is there CCTV here? Who opened that? Did you open that? No, I wouldn't do that. It's not, not mine to open. Well, I didn't. Tell me the truth. Is there CCTV? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I, I, mean, I, can, I can call, uh, call through get the security Get somebody, get office, somebody down. You know. Paul Finn is absolutely bricking himself. You see him go from like being like happy, you see him physically recoil into his chair. Out of order. Hashtag awkward. Oh, that was a bad idea. Eh? Hey? I thought that might have been a bad idea. Well, that's his fault for going to Lou, isn't it? Alan, Ian wants to talk to you. I'll see if I can get him back. It's a good start, isn't it? Don't land me in it, for God's sake. Shearer disappears backstage, and a fake security guard comes in and drops poor Finn right in it. You just have to kind of bite the bullet and say that it was you, um, because otherwise they're, they're talking about getting the police involved. And uh... Finn sort of has to really take the take the blame for what Shearer's done. You can see him shrinking in the corner as he realizes that he's done for. He looks terrified. I mean, you, you, um, you can come. You can come no, no, I understand. If, 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 if Alan's not gonna, if he's not going to take the hit, I will. But. He's, he's... But then he, yeah, yeah. So. Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel a bit, bit hard done by it. Al said you opened it, Finn. Can't you believe that. You get to watch the poor guy just break down. Just like. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this situation now. Bit, bit then up. Ian Wright I'll comes in for his one-to-one -one interview with I'll Finn, who's that. still none the wiser. So where's Alan? He's not doing it now. We'll take that bottle off. He's trying so hard not to cry. <clears throat> so really. I would have run off. That would have been my response. Just run. He's squirming. Uh, it's a project maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could, can't. Who knows? I don't I know. I'd say I know. Uh, <laughs> And then, yeah, I mean, there's a difference between Arsenal this year and last, but we can lose that one. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's just diet, and then some of the best players you played with, if you had to single one yeah. out. Yeah, well, Shearer. This has to be the most awkward interview I've ever witnessed. Rumbling. Burkham. Yeah, I figured it would be Tony nice. Adams. Tony Adams, well. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Ian is just absolutely fuming, doesn't want to answer any of the questions. Right. Don't know if we're doing it seriously now, if that's... Well, the bottle right here finished this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we got you, we got you. He springs up out of his chair and he honestly flies across the room. <laughs> Finn is absolutely fuming. I just Look thought you were a nice guy. I, as well. I am a nice guy. I can't believe you've just done that. You've just got me. They <laughs> set you up. You set you up. Finn, bring it in. <laughs> Great interview. Yeah, they were squirming, oh. like, you were so why are they trying to meet me? You were squirming, man. The relief on his face. You can see that he's just like, oh, thank God. Well, that was awesome. Good stuff. It, it was magical. No one is safe from a wind-up, even in the high-pressure world of professional football, as FA Cup winners Arsenal found out in 2015. Following their fruitful season and in anticipation of their upcoming tour to Southeast Asia, Arsenal Media decided to reward some of the players with a cheeky little wind-up. The Vice President of Arsenal Singapore, Chong Jin Yang, flew in bearing fruit to prank the players. The bad news? It was a durian fruit. People talk about it smelling like a rotten corpse but it's so delicious. And I'd say probably 50% of the people in Southeast Asia love the fruit. The other 50% just hate it. It's the Marmite of Singapore. It smells really, really bad. Think feet, but like thousands of them. Durian genuinely is a problem in Singapore. It's banned on public transport. It's nice right. to meet you, mate. Nice to okay. meet you. Yeah, good to see you. Hi, Serge. I'm a Jin from uh, Arsenal Singapore Club. Uh, we're really looking forward to Arsenal coming to Singapore, finally. And um, what we brought here today is uh, called a durian, and it's known as the king of fruits in Southeast Asia. I think it's nice to know about the country that you're going to and try some of their delicacies. As a footballer, you do have to be quite careful about what you're eating, but I suppose it is a fruit and you do need your five a day. Have you seen it before? No. Oh, it smells. It's disgusting. They can smell it straight away. A couple of the players couldn't quite hide how disgusting they found the smell. It's so obvious that it smells awful. 
You could see that they were like trying to hold down the sick. They're trying to put on a brave face. Some of them just couldn't pull it off though. It just doesn't smell like a fruit, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Is that not poison? No. 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 <laughs> what do you think this guy's going to do to him? He's not really from Singapore Arsenal, he's from Singapore Chelsea. He's scared. He's scared of all. Thank you. It's uh, an honour for us. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honour. I really love how respectful they were of the culture. Beautiful. <laughs> Matthew, take a sniff like this. No, 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 no. I, I, I've been close enough. <laughs> Close the lid and back away from it. Just take a little bit of it, pull it out like that, and then just taste it. Nah, mate. Not in a million years. Oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 I can't even smell this. A bad smell is a bad smell, right? Oh, I thought it was much you, but apparently not. <laughs> Chesney weren't having any of it. God, get it in me of it for the Mate, this is awful. And I wouldn't have any of it either because it smells terrible. I couldn't eat much of it. <laughs> <laughs> Two of your teammates refused to even try it. Even like 10 years ago, I can't imagine footballers being that kind of sensitive. Thumbs down. <laughs> Thumbs up for me. <laughs> I was actually quite surprised that like four of them actually tried it after smelling it. So can I have some when, uh, when we come? Yeah, sure, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Kieran actually quite liked it. Yeah, he. I'm very impressed by him. High five. <laughs> Sports stars are often game for a laugh, and wrestler Hulk Hogan is no exception. Hulk Hogan is like the god of American wrestling. Hulk Hogan here, greatest of all times. Absolute legend. And when this wrestling wizard was honoured with his own waxwork at Madame Tussauds in Orlando, he couldn't resist the chance of a good wind-up. I'm getting ready to tear Madame Tussauds down today because all these other wax figures, they're all going to faint when they see my new wax figure. Hulk Hogan is doing what any self-respecting person with a waxwork of himself would do. He's pretending to be the waxwork. Waxworks can be a little bit creepy. <laughs> Even more so when one of them comes to life. <laughs> he just moves. Rawr! <laughs> Hulk Hogan's a substantial guy. It would be pretty exciting and also kind of terrifying. No, no, you're... 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 No, ready to take on Hulk Hogan. There's your first mistake. Oh. <laughs> He's scaring these people half to death. My heart couldn't take that. Man, that looks good on my What the hell? Oh my God. What the hell's going on? What the hell? Oh my God. It works. I think they might be having a few nightmares. And then they're like, oh my god, it's Hulk Hogan! How good is that if you're like going to see Hulk Hogan, it's actually the real person? If I was there and then he moved, I would literally be beside myself. I wouldn't know what to do. But then I'd obviously get the selfie afterwards. <laughs> Absolute legend! Ah!